Okay, guys, um, I have a much nicer video recorded, but I've got to get some sleep. I'm dying here, and it's about four gigs. It's between Bird and I. It's uh, 1080p, so it's going to take me some time to cut. Um, I plan on doing it when I get back up after I've had some sleep. In the meantime, I figured I'd make another short video, something I could upload straight from my Evo here real quick, um, to let you all know what was going on. Just in the meantime, I had to kill a little time. Eh, hard to read, but that's a, um, that's a quadrant score of 1233. Um, I just pulled up with some of Bird's tweaks. But what I'm here to show you um, is our recovery console. By the way, my desktop in case anyone's curious. Um, I always forget who makes this clock, but it's available if you just search uh, Hero Clock on the uh, marketplace, you'll find it, and it's got the default clock skin on it. Um, I get that question a lot in my videos. The background is Silhouette Live Wallpaper. Um, it's got some really awesome options, but basically it just makes for a real natural wallpaper. But anyway, that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for to uh, do is look at our recovery environment, Bird and I have done. Uh, and what I mean by Bird and I is he took the research done on the milestone. He discovered uh, a way to improve on it considerably, um, basically hijacked the boot process much, much earlier. Um, and he calls uh, a script that I wrote that's sitting over on the uh, pre-install partition and that script also has a, a fair bit of code from him in it um, that preps the recovery environment um, but basically my script is a, a self-contained uh, installer in other words it's got binary data in it that's um, exploded out and so the whole recovery environment sits in one file really so we can find <laughs> updates to you guys really easily um, the way you boot into the recovery environment is pretty straightforward. I'm going to do it from the phone just so that you can see everything going on instead of me switching between the phone and the keyboard. In order to do that, I'm going to use Better Terminal Emulator Pro. And all I have to do is touch system uh, C U S T R E C, it's for cust re custom recovery. There we go. I think you can kind of read it there. Sorry the phone doesn't work any better up close. Um, to enter, oh, sorry, read on the file system, so I need to go mount this. I'm going to cheat. You could do this another way, but I've got Root Explorer on here. Another awesome application, well worth the money on the uh, marketplace. So we're just going to go into system, mount it. Switch back into BETP. Sorry for the silence. I'm tired. It's this or nothing. For the moment, anyway. Okay, so there we go. So I touch, uh, there we go. Touch system custrec. That's all it takes. Once you've done that, uh, reboot. I think I can do it from here. Oh, apparently not. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the phone down. View the menus. Nothing up my sleeve. Now, I'm sure you've seen the picture Koosh has up on the web of his recovery. Um, that picture he explained to me uh, wasn't a really a functional recovery environment. It was more of a proof of concept uh, for him launching his binary from within Android, which is pretty cool. You see how fast that is? That's because of the point and the, the way that um, we're booting into the recovery. It's instantaneous. Now you notice this is the clockwork recovery. Um, it's just a real stock binary version right now. I'm in the process of building a custom one in the background. Um, so we're going to add on a few tweaks of ours and we've got a whole new feature set um, that's going to make this the recovery that developers will want. Um, it's going to let you as a developer do virtually anything you could want to do to a system. It's going to make it possible for you to 
to theme, to mod, to do tweaks, to do virtually anything you can think of doing through a single file. Um, you hand it to a user, you tell them to install our recovery and reboot, and it's done. Um, that'll be a real neat idea. But anyway, that's it. We're in recovery. Yeah, I can bounce around. I know you can't really read these. Um, again, I'm sorry for that. My better camera you'll see a little bit more later, but I figured everyone would be happy to have uh, a picture from Mr. Blurry sooner than nothing until later. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reboot system now. And the way this works is that file that I touched in system, the, the Custrec file, um, it gets deleted as soon as our recovery begins to boot so that if there's a problem, um, it can reboot in Android because our recovery is not as safe as what you're accustomed to. It does not flash over the bootloader. Um, it doesn't interrupt the bootloader. It just jumps in there so early that Android's not loaded and gives us uh, the opportunity to create a recovery environment. And that's where this is really unique. The Milestone guys tried, um, and I don't think they ever really succeeded to the level that they wanted to. Um, in the video that you're going to see later that I'll post for my better camera, Birdman actually goes into ADB during recovery because it is fully functional. You can ADB into the phone. Uh, the only gotcha is that you have to have the phone plugged into USB before you boot into recovery. Um, we discovered that the hard way. Um, but anyway, he uh, demonstrates that you have full control by going in and wiping out the entire system folder. Um, just goes to show how you will get custom ROMs through our recovery. You won't be able to flash in the sense that you're used to, but you will be able to create packages and write them into system. And for the moment, so long as they work with the stock kernel, they'll be fine. We have hopes of replacing the stock kernel. Um, we have a couple different processes we're looking into, uh, as are a few other people. I mean, we're not the only ones looking at this. And if those work, then we'll be able to swap kernels in essence also, and there's really nothing we won't be able to do here on the Droid X that's not being done on any other phone or, you know, that you weren't looking to do anyway. So, yeah, it's pretty much everything you guys wanted. Um, the support we've been seeing via donations is outstanding. Thank you so much. Um, Bird is a college student and needs the income. Uh, All Droid does not cover its own expenses. So without those donations, it would be really hard for me to compensate Bird. Um, but because of you guys, I can do it. And, you know, it's helped in the past, too. Um, let's just say you guys helped him get his ex weeks ago, and, and you didn't even know it because of well, the support that you've sent to Aldroid. Anyway, I'm so tired of rambling, um, and I don't want to embarrass myself anymore. So... Sorry to keep you guys on the edge of your seats like this. I don't mean to tease you, but I'm human. I got to sleep. I've been running on like five hours a night to get this to the point where it is. And I've got a wife and a child to worry about too. So as soon as I've had some rest, I'm going to get back up, see about packaging this, and hopefully have it in everyone's hands later this evening. Um, and if we're lucky, Bird will have Froyo um, out there running and well, yeah, let's just say he hopes to have a functional and maybe somebody will find a way to distribute it to you. Obviously, we can't do that because that would be against the law. Anyway, you all take it easy.